Hi folks, and uh, thank you very much for joining me. I've still not charged the thing up yet to lift the, what do you call it? Right, what we've got for today's project is the bush. Yeah, I may as well call it that, looking at this record deck. This is the Bush SRP uh, 41. Now, I'm actually going to put, I might put this on the back burner. And the reason why I might do that is because the deck needs a whole repaint. The arm and everything really, really needs a repaint. It needs all pulling apart. So, uh, I think this might be put on the back burner to sort of buy some paint. Um, these knobs are a bit shitty. Uh, these knobs are a bit shitty. I've got another set from another amp in, which is probably going to end up scrap. I've got another set of knobs here, which actually look a bit better. Yeah. Yeah, I've got another set of knobs here, they're identical. They're actually exactly the same. And they're actually in better nick. Uh, so yeah, I've got another three knobs here. So that's okay. Uh, the on-off switch is knackered, I've already plugged this in. But I think I know where there's one of them. So let's plug it in and give you a quick demonstration. I can't play a record, there's no stylus. Uh, but we're on and we're quiet. Idlers needs attention, it's not very good. Uh, that there's damaged. That's not supposed to come back like that, so that's been damaged. So the pin's actually there. The pin's there, it's the bottom pin that's... I'll have to look into that. That's not supposed to come back, it's supposed to stay there. So, I'll have to look into that. Because whether I can sort this, I never noticed that five minutes ago. Uh, that puts a whole new perspective on this. Um, the cartridge is probably okay, it's a solid old one. There's no stylus in it. But it is working. <coughs> bit crackly. Bit loose. But uh, the amp works. And if worse comes to worse, I'll scrap this and rebuild that other amp. Because uh, it'll be the same amp inside. So if, if it comes to that, then we might end up just cannibalising this to rebuild that other amp because this, to be honest with you, I haven't got another deck. Uh, this does need a full repaint. It's scratched and marked and oxidised. I mean, look at this. It's all the trim. This is by far... I got this off Charlie. It came from the same lot of stuff that the other stuff came from. And, but this is, by far, this is by far the worst item I've had. Uh, it's, the first, it's the first one where the case is not bad. I mean, the case itself is actually very good, which is a shame. It's got a few dings and whatnot, but what hasn't after 50 years, 40 years, or 40 odd years, you know? But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll let you guys decide. Should I do it? Or should I scrap it in favour of rebuilding that other bush amplifier? Uh, I'll leave it up to you guys. Whatever you guys say, that's what I'll do. But for now, 
Uh, this is back on the back burner for now. This is, uh, yeah. I mean, the knobs I can do that they can deal with all this. The rest of it's been pretty not bad, but it's the deck. And to be honest, folks, the deck's everything. You know, the deck's everything. I mean, I mean, and with this being like this. I mean, I can get the paint, I can do this and make it a lovely finish, and there's no two ways about that, as you know, I can do all that. You know, but I could even do the deck a funky colour. You know. Uh, but. I don't know. I just think it might be a lot of work for not a lot of, I think it might be too much work for not a lot of gain. And, you know, it's, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I don't fancy it. I really don't fancy it because I don't fancy, I mean, the amp's working. That's, we've got one thing in its favour. Uh... But as for as for uh, see, it's the first time I've looked at this. It's the first time I've looked at this unit. I've not looked at it yet uh, until today, and I've seen pictures of it. But you know, uh, yeah, I think this is a uh, yeah. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let you, my subscribers. Uh, I'm going to let you lot decide what should happen to the SRP41. Uh, should I do it? Uh, it'll be a few series, it'll be, it'll be a fairly long video series if I do do it. And if I do it, I need to do it before the end of the winter because I need to spray it. Uh, I need to spray the deck, I need to sand it down, it all has to be stripped completely stripped everything taken out um, you know everything that can come off has to be come off has to come off anything that can't come off has to be very very carefully taped up uh, I'm not happy with the control arm with the way it's been damaged but I might be able to sort that if it's just the bottom pin, I think they have a bottom pin on them. If it's just a bit of damage on the bottom pin, I might be able to sort it. And I might. Uh, I was thinking I might have another deck I can throw in there, but I haven't. I mean. I haven't got another deck that style. I mean, I don't like that style of deck anyway. I thought it was horrible. Um, I have got a later UA25. But I think it's got bits missing. It's got a black arm on it. It's not complete. Uh, it would fit in here. But I think I've got a blue arm as well. So I might be able to make one good enough. I think there's a blue arm knocking about somewhere. There's a blue arm in my drawer here. Because uh, I've got I've got a few arms knocking about. I've got a gold one. Uh, you know, they've got the, the brown one, sorry. The brown one went with the brown deck. And... Yeah, well, I'll leave it, for, I'll leave, I'll leave it in your hands. If you think I should do it, then you you uh, so leave it leave it in the comments because I'll be perfectly honest. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, and I don't really want all that. I don't really, you know, I've done a lot. I've done a lot just recently, and I had an ECL eighty six on here. Where's it gone? There it is. I can't lose that. It's out of that Phillips. There we go. You know, but you know, I love doing it. I really do. I love doing this job, but. 
just recently I've done a hell uh, and I mean a hell of a lot um, my own stuff as well as stuff for customers I've done a lot and I think I'm just plugging the remote tripod in so that it'll charge up it won't work while it's charging but this will have it for later but yeah you know you lot you, you lot let me know and whatever you lot say that's what I will do and because to be honest uh, I'd rather scrap it uh, wonder if it'd take a garage that'd be interesting wouldn't it now wouldn't that be interesting because I've got a Garrard fucking uh, I've got a Garrard 86 in the cupboard in the, in the filing cabinet uh, there's a Garrard 86 in there a nice one as well so I'm wondering if I could reconfigure the motorboard to take a, to take an 86 anyway I'll leave it in your hands if you want to see me do a full BSR restore uh, a full a full rebuild of the full rebuild and paint of that mechanism then I will do um, and see where we go uh, one good thing it's got in its favour is this is I've got a nice set of knobs I can chuck on it the amplifiers in good nick uh, Because they used to say knobs on the uh, on the later model, the the SRP fifty or fifty one or whatever it fucking was, uh, the one where it's basically the same fucking thing, really, just a different fucking case. But yeah, uh, I think there's only one speaker in here, although you get the illusion there's two. We'll soon find out when we get into it. But uh, you lot, let me know, and whatever you lot say, that's what will be done. Anyway, uh, but uh, yeah, for me, uh, given the condition of the, I mean, if the deck had been, if the deck had looked half nice, then yeah. But as soon as I saw that deck, it just put me off. Anyway, we'll see. I'm gonna leave it there, folks. Thanks for now. Well, thanks for watching, and bye for now.